Hello again and welcome back to the MCMB course. This session is session four and in this session I want to talk about data card section of NMCMP input. In the previous session we talked about cell card session and also about the surface card and in this session I want to talk about the last session of an MCMP input with uh, the name data card. In data card there's a lot of card that uh, we must talk about each card in separate because of there's lots of details for any card so in this session I talk about two card the mod card and imp card Here is an input that we write in the previous session and uh, now I want to open its geometry with the visual editor. Here is an input card that I can make a change its color. Here we can see different session. And uh, when a particle start, When uh, a particle starts to track in this media, as an example, consider a situation that the particle start from this position and it, as an example, track this trajectory. And after that, here, as an example, this particle go outside of this surface. How MC we want to answer this question? That how MCMP find its interaction, and when. this uh, history, this particle, will cut. For each particle, as an example, here consider that it's neutral, and for each particle, when it, when it interact with the medium, depend on its energy, depend on the material, secondary particle will create. As an example, consider a situation that neutron will create. As an example, photon, electron, uh, and uh, Maybe proton. Okay. We want to say we want to answer this question that how MCMP simulate this simulation for each input we must define 
the particles that we need or the particle that is important in our simulation. Here, as an example, if you want to get image, okay, we know that we need photon, so it's important. So it's important, okay. But if we want to calculate those, all this particle is important, okay. All this one is important, so this is important for those calculation. And here is for image. So we need to define all the particles that that's important in our simulation. It's dependent on our geometry where tally or the result that we want. The medium, as an example, if this is a medium with large density, we can we know that never and never electron can go outside the medium. Okay, so it can be used for in for uh, image. Oh, the photon we can see that it can pass the medium. So. For each program, for each program, in the data card, we must define the card with name, mode, and this mode card define all the particles. I emphasize, it's important. It's so important. Okay, we must define all the particle that it's that. Is important in our results. Okay, all the particles that affect on our result. So here we define all the particles as an example: neutron, photon, electron, and H for the prot. Okay, or maybe we define just neutron and photon. So the mode card is for defining all the important particles in our simulation. Here, if we just define neutron and proton and photon, and if a proton will create in the interaction, MCNP will neglect why okay, don't consider it why because we don't define it in our mode card so when the neutron interact with the medium in this simulation the secondary particle the secondary particle will be considered if and only if we define this particle we define that particle in the mode card. So it's an important note that we must consider in our simulation. And the next card that we must define is important. There's two ways for defining important card. Here we can change label from cell to imp, and here we can see the importance of importance of our simulation. When the importance of cell is zero it means that we don't want to consider that particle okay so 